The shooting happened at 4.30 Saturday afternoon, right after a vigil in the community center for a beloved member of the Manhattanville houses. Police say an off-duty Housing Bureau officer was in attendance of that vigil when police say he noticed two men firing guns. When police arrived at the scene, the off-duty officer gave a description of the two suspects who had fled, and at that point, he realized that he himself had been shot in the left foot. No one is under arrest at this time. It's uh, still an active investigation. Our uh, off-duty officer was able to provide information to the responding officers. He was able to assist with a physical description. Uh, we believe he was able to help with a direction of flight. And at that point, he realized he was in pain. At the hospital, doctors say the off-duty police officer is expected to make a full recovery, but police in attendance were visibly shaken. This is the seventh police officer shot in the last five weeks, and two officers were killed responding to a domestic dispute. Earlier this week, another off-duty officer was shot on Tuesday. We just uh, sent home two of our beloved detectives. This is very painful, it's very hurtful. We shouldn't have to live like this. We should be able to walk freely. We should be able to shop and do the things that we love, and we shouldn't have to worry about gun violence. Outside the Manhattanville houses, a group called Street Corner Resources gathered to send a clear message. We're basically just here in support of the life. We're here trying to save the life. You know, if there's a life that needs to be saved, that's what we're here for. And police believe the dispute stemmed from something that happened two hours earlier by the community center. The shots rang out two hours later. It never had anything to do with that off-duty police officer, and he never fired his weapon.